Now, I'm supposed to believe that this is some dude, some sort of astronaut, standing on a comet. The funny thing is, with this comet, this picture that Mr. Hadfield has here, doesn't show anything else. Doesn't really show much in the background. Like, uh, you know, I, I've looked at the picture. You see a little bit of black. But here's the... I don't know. Here, here's the thing. I don't believe for a second that this is a comet. I believe that they're filming this somewhere inside of a studio. I don't believe that this is a comet at all. I believe that this is just some sort of rock or something. Because you go over here... And you look at this, then you're like the mountains on dwarf planet, whatever, Cirrus, standing taller than Mount Whitney. Now, have a look at that a second. It looks like a cartoon. It does not look real. Okay? So for you guys that believe that these guys go into outer space and... You know, oh my goodness, this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, oh lord, they're out there and they're taking pictures. The f they don't take pictures of anything, really. There's nothing. I've never seen pictures. Not, not real pictures, I mean. I, I don't see anything. And the reason why they won't go to space is not because of money, people. Use your head. People have telescopes. Okay. And if somebody says, oh, the United States is going to go to Mars, or Canada is going to go to Mars, or some other country, Russia, or whatever, is going to go to Mars, you don't think people are going to have their extremely strong telescopes pointed at that planet to watch it? No. You can't leave. You're going to tell me that the first time man ever landed on the moon, that, you know, this was, <clears throat> they were this was real, It was they were capable of, but now they can't with the flimsy crap they used back then? I don't believe any of it. I believe that they can go to lower Earth orbit, in other words, above the clouds, but they can't pass a certain point. There was a rocket um, that someone tested against the, the firmament of the planet, and it hit the firmament. And I don't know what the video was called, but I did see it. So until so somebody can prove to me without a shadow of a doubt that this type of stuff is real I'll believe you but until then I think I have my personal opinion on this which I call well rubbish okay because you can see that many people many people that are filmed or ask questions that these astronauts, so-called astronauts, cannot handle or, or, or explain or answer properly. So you guys got to use discernment with things like this. Because remember, we live on a planet where we are deceived a lot and people buy it because... Well, people back then bought it because, what, they didn't have any proof that this was fake or wasn't real. Well, it's the same thing, but you, know, you get what I'm saying. There was no proof of it. You know, people are saying, oh, it was fake, and like, okay, yeah, whatever, man. And they just went on with their lives. So use discernment when you watch videos. Even for me, use discernment on my videos if you want. It doesn't bother me. I'm good with it. If you want to do it, you can do it. You can use discernment, ask me questions. Shoot me something. I don't care. I'll try to answer it the best I can. All right? So before you guys start believing things... Research it yourself. Because I'm telling you right now, the planet is far bigger than they're letting on. And to be honest with you, I think that their, their uh, radar, well not the radar really, but the, the, the maps they show us of the planet for the weather is a bunch of hogwash. They don't show you the actual planet where everything is. All right, guys, I, I, I'm not hating on nobody. But you have to call it what it is. You have to talk with the truth. You have to be truthful. 
Like I told you guys before, I am not a drama channel, so don't bring your crap here. If you if you have something to say, you're free to say it. Comment, like, and or subscribe.